you mean Ernie's got a bus? Yeah. So what? who drives it for him? He does? What? He drives a bus? He's got to be crazy. <laughs> yeah, they all think I'm a little off, but uh, hey, listen, I'm having the time of my life. what it's all about living if you can't afford it then I say get into an old automobile and go out to see America have fun that's what it's all about you'll last longer believe me the night that I won the Academy Award, I happened to go to the gentleman's room and I heard a couple of fellas talking. And I had my back to them. And they were saying, all right, so he, he was a good bad guy, wonderful bad guy. And uh, all right, so he won the award for playing a good guy. Well, what else can he do? Believe it or not, my next picture was a musical. And I played, uh, we played the lives of De Silva, Brown, and Henderson. It was uh, Gordon McRae, Dan Daly, and myself. And I played uh, Henderson. No, was it? No, Brown. Brown. And, uh, I believe he was the lyricist. Anyway, it was a marvelous thing. I sang, danced, carried on like a fool, played the banjo, had a great time, really. And um, you tell people that, you know, and they say, you were in a musical? Uh huh. <laughs> and I had a marvelous time, really. When I saw the bus the first time, uh, I didn't think it was a bus. I didn't know what it was. It was so great. I said, this is a bus? But then again, when I went inside, I thought I was in a condo. Welcome to the Sun Bum. How you like this? Marble staircase, huh? <laughs> the, I mean, it's unreal, like a king-size bed inside. He got a living room, a dining room, and then he got... Uh... This, of course, is a control place where I do all my piloting and everything else. And it's got everything that you could possibly want. Here's uh, the MTech, where I can see behind me. There's my car behind me. And I can see other rigs behind that. Then all these other lights along in here all pertain to even backup alarms, the uh, engine batteries, rear floodlights, fog lights, speech. Um, left curb lights, right curb lights, and a spare. And all these along here and up, the, up there as well, you can see they're all banks of lights for every little thing in the, uh, in the coach. And this, of course, is where we do the driving. T big, huge 20, 21 inch TV inside, 
with a commodes and a, and a a shower, you, you name it, everything that a condo, not just a house, but a condo would have. Uh, I just can't put in words, but like I say, when you see inside of it, you would say, is this a bus? Come on along, I'll show you. All this is done in leather. This is one of the things I loved about this coach. The whole coach is done in uh, Southwest style. And I made a few changes to it as we went along, but uh, essentially it's pretty much the same. I had a couple of chairs here that I, uh, that I kept falling over on me as I made sharp turns. So I got rid of those and put in a little set tee, and it uh, really works good. And here, of course, we're coming into the storage for clothes and everything else, and the bathroom. And here I had this put in, TBE, and it's Tova and Ernest, you know the rest. <laughs> I went up to see George Lindsay, my old buddy, uh, Goober, and uh, he came by and he said, oh God, he said, that's Architectural Digest. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jan from Jan's RV Rentals, and this is my uh, business associate, Jenny. Hi. What I usually do is I'll take you through this from head to toe, and let me grab the keys. I usually start on the outside to show you how to use the whole unit. And can you show us where the door is? The door? To get in? Is right here. This is the door to get in and out of the motorhome. <laughs> this is called the Georgie Boy. We call it George. All of our motorhomes have nicknames, and this one happens to be George. So this is a wide coach. You have a chair and a couch area that can make out to a bed. You got your windows that open. You can close the curtains if you want privacy. Right now I have the windows open. This is a refrigerator. Back here, your storage, but then you have your bed. This is the best way to travel anywhere. They're gonna be in complete comfort. Do you have a favorite Ernest Blood 9 film? I loved him in the kills. <laughs> like the, and Poseidon Adventure was really good. It's really amazing how many films you've done. And we were asking people what their favorite Ernest Borg 9 uh, films have been. And um, the top ones and appearances are uh, uh, Mikhail's Navy, uh, Poseidon Adventure, yeah. and uh, Marty. Yeah, and, Marty. The okay. Wild Bunch is usually pretty good too, with Bill Holden. And uh, another one they like is Emperor of the North, with uh, Lee Marvin and myself. We had a wonderful time making that film. Work, my lord. Were you good friends with Lee Marvin? Oh, he was. He was one of the dearest friends I ever had. And believe me, uh, it tore me up when I heard that he had passed away. But he was so obstinate, doggone him. He could still be alive today if he hadn't smoked so much. That's why I beg people, please don't smoke. It's the worst thing in the world for you. But you've got a friend if you've got United States savings bonds. I found that out when I left the service after 10 years and wanted to be an actor. You know, the United States savings bonds I'd saved up in the Navy kept me going. Today, I'm the happiest guy in the world. And I'd like to suggest to you that you save up for those special times. When you want a, well, a new home or a college for the kids or a comfortable retirement. He actually called me up and he said, son, I spent your inheritance. <laughs> I started laughing and I said, you what? And he said, I spent your inheritance. I went out today and I bought a bus. Boy, that wind is really blowing today, isn't it? <laughs> Let's go up through here. Come on in.